So I've been in this space here for over 20 years. It's hard to believe. One of the challenges in writing for Beetle Bailey is the strip has been around for so long. And there are times when it just feels like there's just nothing that we haven't done before. There's nothing new. I mean, we've mined every little grain of sand in Camp Swampy for humor. It requires a lot of concentration. You, you almost have to put yourself in another place. It's kind of almost like daydreaming. It, it's like there's a closet, a dark closet, and you're reaching in with your hand, and you're groping around to try to find something to grab onto, and you pull it out, and you go, oh, there's an idea. And you go in there again, and there's another object in the, in the dark closet, and you pull it out, and there's another idea. But there's this, Fear, I think a lot of cartoonists have that maybe someday that closet is going to be empty. There's nothing in it anymore. He's a military hero of the nation, so he doesn't always follow regulations. At the sound of revelry, I'm a morning person, usually 7:30 or 8. Have a cup of coffee or read the New York Times. And then I start writing in the pad. A lot of people think a cartoonist sits down, he writes an idea in the morning, and he draws it up at night. He does one strip a day or something. I don't know too many cartoonists that do that. They, you kind of work in batches. I find the best thing to do is just start writing, scribbling away, and, and not looking for that perfect gag. Going back and looking at the characters and what they were doing, you know, in the past and other situations we put them in before, oftentimes will get me started in the right direction. So I'm looking in here and I'm seeing Sarge and Beetle playing ping pong, which is something that I don't think we've done that in quite a long time. I know my father and his assistant, Jerry Dumas, used to always play ping pong at lunch, so there used to be some, some great ping pong gags. Sarge is a very competitive guy, so I'm thinking about how can Beetle outwit Sarge at the ping pong table? So the two of them are at the ping pong table, and Beetle's just about to serve, and he says, here comes my patented sleeper shot. When you have characters like Beetle and Sarge, they've been around for so long, they have really sort of strong character traits. Of course, Beetle is, is famous for falling asleep, but even more so, he can put things to sleep just by touching them. He almost has superpowers. And so Beetle hits the ball over the net and the ball doesn't bounce. It just stops and sits there. And Sarge is mad now, he says, that's not fair. You know, the long evolution of a strip day after day allows you to do that kind of character development where your readers, if they're reading it every day, really feel like they know these people. You know, to me, growing up, I know these characters so well. I think of Beetle as my older brother. You know, he went off to join the army when I was little and the strip, in some ways, is like a is like a letter home from Beetle every day. What's going on at Camp Swampy today, Beetle? So you kind of create this world that I think, after a while, the readers really think is real.
thought that was one of the better ones. Yeah, now this, this one has some problems. This is a, a pure reject. I didn't get it. Boy, look at that line of minuses on this one. This got everything, every rejection. I don't think people are gonna understand this. Yeah, that was oh, that was a plus. Yeah, I thought it was a minus. You don't make good pluses. Yeah, you gotta work on your pluses, Greg. Boy, that's a minus for your pluses. <laughs> <laughs> I think you need up here, the, he just, you say he's already lost weight, but you know, he's, he's eating. Okay, he's I nice. think what I, the first panel, I just can't seem to lose weight. Beatles says, are you trying? And he goes through all the things he's trying, and then he's, this is why he doesn't lose weight. <clears throat> no, I like that one. <laughs> you know, I, I was noticing that back in the days when you'd play ping pong every day after lunch, there were lots of really great ping pong gags, particularly Sunday pages with a lot of action. I said, we haven't done a ping pong table in a long time. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that represents our ping pong game today. Yeah. They're, they're going to sleep. Right. The game is short. <laughs> it's over quickly. <laughs> I, I want to know where are the bologna sandwiches. You got to have bologna sandwiches if you're playing ping pong, right? <clears throat> We've already eaten them. <clears throat> <laughs> and another good one. There's two good ones stuck together. <laughs> yeah. We write over 125 gags a month, <clears throat> which is at least four times as much as we need. I'm gonna sit down here and start the finished drawings. I do all the finished drawings in pencil, and then my son Greg does the ink work. And um, well, we've got a, a quite a, a great system. It seems to be working. I put the lettering in first. You can be a good cartoonist and a bad writer, you'll never make it. But a good writer and a bad cartoonist often comes out on top. The good thing about cartooning is that nobody says what's good or bad. It's just it's just a style of drawing that each one of us has. The greatest thing about my career is that I don't consider it work. It's just, it's fun. People say, well, you're 90 years old. Why don't you retire? I say, retire to what? I'm having a good time. On our lunch hour, we would always take a whole hour off, even though it only took us 15 minutes to eat a bologna sandwich, you know, then we'd go down in the basement and uh, play ping pong. And I'd come up afterwards and they were so uh, energetic, uh, the way we played. Jerry sometimes would have to go home and take a shower <laughs> afterwards. I fell in love with comic strips as a little boy, about three or four years old. My father used to read them to me. He'd say in Sunday morning, he'd say, go down and get the paper more. I'll read you the comics. We'd get in bed, I'd, he'd put his arm around me, and he started reading me the comics, and his favorite was Moon Mullins. And he laughed so hard that tears would come down his cheeks. And I'd sit there looking at him and thinking, what a nice thing to do for people. <laughs> and I started selling cartoons when I was
about uh, 10 years old. Dropped out of school, they couldn't get me to go back. And there it is, all ready for Greg to ink. You all done? I am all done. It's all in a day's work. <laughs> I'll take the artwork, line it up. I rule lines for the lettering, and the angles. Eight, four is the middle. Get the lettering pen, still dipping pins in ink the old fashioned way. Very exciting. Maybe we'll be lucky and I'll splatter all over this and start swearing. But I've got a circle template to get a perfect circle, like for a ball. Don't do that for the noses. Make sure the swoop is nice and swoopy. Growing up with Mort Walker as your father, he worked at home, had a home studio, so you're there with him a lot, and you just sort of pick that up. There's unspoken things, there's things you don't have to worry about, and we just sort of know about a lot of the things and, and the things we want to do and where we want to take the strip. In Beetle, we've kind of established this style. One of the things that most people probably wouldn't think about are the balloons, and we, we like to have them nicely shaped and rounded. Dip the pen, Get some ink on it. And even as I'm doing this, I'll make some changes to the lines. Because as you do it in the starker black and white, you, you start to see things a little differently. The sound of the pen against the paper makes a little bit of a scratching sound. That's a sound that I remember so much from my childhood. And it was just like, dad's working, you know, it just, it, I don't know, it was a comforting sound somehow. It's the sound of cartooning to me. It's Beetle. People get familiar with the characters. They're easily identifiable. You know, Beetle's the lazy one. Sarge is the big tough guy. Anybody who follows the strip at all knows that. I think the familiarity is really important. I think that is one reason why it's lasted as long as it has. People come to know the characters and think of them as friends, as my father would say. Beetle is so, every line is sort of important. It's the, it's spare. Ink dries within a, a minute or two. Okay, a few little touches here to make sure the lines are connected. Ta-da, one finished strip. 